Hello everybody, this is Kyrex with more Let's Play Harvest Moon Back to Nature. And, uh, yeah, things, lots of things. This is going to be another one of those uneventful weeks. And I apologize for that, there's really nothing I can do. Basically, two birthdays and nothing else going on this week. Are my fish boning? They are not. Tragedy and woe. I hate how long it takes to do fish in this game. It's it's really stupid. So yeah, last last week's episode, which for me was about five minutes ago, was basically a long chat about schedule slips and Patreon that descended somehow into me bitching about vegans and PETA. Still don't know how that happened, and I was there. There's really nothing new to talk about, because again, this video took place about five minutes after last week's, so... In case you haven't noticed, I'm trying to get caught up. I want to, within the next day, it's December 8th right now, by the 9th, I want to be done with this. I want the last couple episodes done. I want to put this behind me. I want to put it up on the internet and not worry about it. No more angry messages saying, where's the episodes? To be fair, I only got one of those, and the person was entirely reasonable when I explained what the shit happened. And really, I don't even have a good excuse this time. It's basically, I had a bunch of other stuff to do, my sleep schedule's been weird, and I wanted to play Pokemon. You know. Again, the, uh, the schedules things about how my schedule's being weird... If I can get Patreon to be a thing, to where I'm actually making any amount of money on here, and I mean any amount of money, even if I'm getting a dollar a month, you know, one person pledges one dollar for the month, that alone would be enough to say, hey, I'm starting to make money here. I have a guy pledging a dollar a month. This could blossom into any number of people pledging any number of money a month until I'm actually doing this as a job. And that could motivate people to basically accommodate my schedule. You know, I mean, to be fair, the roommates are reasonably accommodating about it. But I would have other means of just like, hey, I can't make it. I'm really far behind on where my recording should be. I have to do this. So, Pokemon! I finished the Pokedex. I did it... Um, I want to say, like, December 5th, probably. When, when, when was Sunday? 4th! I, I finished the Pokedex December 4th of 2016. That is the Alola Pokedex, all four of them, at the same time. Because I decided to get cute. I realized that Golbat was on all four Pokedexes. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get every one but Golbat. Until I had 99%, 99%, 99%, 99%. All four Dexes, 99%. One Pokemon missing. Crammed a bunch of Happy Berries down Golbat's throat. Leveled him up. Crobat. Boom, this deck's done. Boom, this deck's done. Boom, boom. All done. Fucking Mele Mele, Akala, Ula Ula, and Pony Island. All done. That is uh, P-O-N-I Island, the fourth island of Alola. Not P-O-N-Y Island, the video game about uh, playing a game called Pony Island. I won't spoil it. It's kind of an interesting story, really. Would you like some wine?
you know all that money that I've got to spare? I'm going to start sparing some of it. Some of it. It's the mayor's birthday, uh, summer 25th. I almost tried to say September. And he likes wine, so I'm going to give him nine wine. Because fuck it, I've got the money. I can do this every goddamn day. He'll be my best drunken friend in the world. But yeah, I finished the Alola decks, and I'm very pleased with myself. It was a bit of an undertaking. And now that it's done, I'm on to what I call recreational gaming again. Where I don't have a particular mission. I mean, I do. I'm training up some Pokemon for competitive. But not hardcore. I'm trying to breed a shiny Fomantis because Lorantis is so cute. And so is Fomantis. They're different kinds of cute. You know. But they're both very cute. And I want a shiny one. Because why the fuck not? I have the shiny charm. It's a perk for having finished the Pokedex. Which I think doubles my chances of getting a shiny. So I'm breeding a bunch of them. God damn it. I didn't mean to give you that. I wouldn't mind, but you're, you're pretty, but you talk way too much. Be a good Let's Player, though. You know what? Venturing back into Facebook territory real quick. There was a thing that someone posted on a little group that I follow. And they asked, <clears throat> if you could speak to anyone in history, who would you talk to? And there are lots of people like, oh, Gandhi, Martin Luther King, uh, Truman, just famous people, famous named people. And generally, the, the let's call them the generic ones, the token ones, the one that, oh, I, I definitely talk to Martin Luther King. It would be kind of fun to tell him that uh, we had a black president. You know, but, uh, no, I have a very good answer, and I like my answer. No one commented on it. It made me a little sad. My answer was I'd talk to the guy who invented bread. Because you may, you may know if you follow my channel, that's something with an obsession of mine, is who the fuck invented bread and how... No, that was the right... No, that wasn't quite the right house. But it'll do in a pinch. do 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 I'll give you one, too. You know what? Fuck it! Have some booze, kid! <laughs> Keeping out call to mine. I'm a horrible person. So you're gonna have seven wines instead of nine. Dog won't take any. Otherwise, you'd get six. But yeah, I mean, I, it's the the concept of bread is a weird one. And people always like, you forgot yeast. When I, I I'll get into this thing in a minute, but I'm like, who the who in their right mind, who in any mindset? would go into a wheat field and pick up wheat and chew on it and go, Oh, God, this tastes awful. I'm going to smash it with a rock. Smash, 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 smash. Powder. Oh, this tastes worse. I'm going to throw it in water and set it on fire. Oh, look, bread. You forgot the yeast. No, no, I didn't. Because that's another complication that makes bread's creation even more unlikely. Just the concept of getting it wet and setting it on fire is strange enough without throwing in yeast. And yet bread is a thing. You can get bread just about anywhere. You know, that's... How? I, how did bread come about? Much less cake and pie and cookies. Just who turned flour into a food product? I've tasted flour. It's horrible and flammable. That shit explodes. Did you know that? Seriously, flour can explode. 
it's, it's kind of a dangerous substance to store. But, yeah. It's, uh... People make bread and cake and cookies and shit out of it. And I can't figure out why. I mean, I can figure out why, but I mean, why did it happen? And no one knows this. No one that I've talked to knows this. And I'm not surprised. It's one of those weird fucking factoids that was lost to history. People are less concerned with the why than they are the how. And let's be honest, if I had to choose whether to pass on the why or the how, I'd choose the how. So that generations later, bread and cake and cookies and pie and brownies can be enjoyed. But damn it, I'd love to know why. Where's my scissors? This hair's gotta go. There we go. Had a strand of hair that's been in my eyes for the past couple days. Hacked it off. It's gone now. No more no more hair in that spot. Might see if either my mom or my aunt can get me a haircut for Christmas or my birthday. I have simple goals, but that's what happens when you're poor. Long-time followers of my channel may also realize that I haven't really had a, a, a professional haircut in about three years and it's not because I don't like barbers it's because I'm too fucking poor that a haircut just is not I don't have the frivolous funds for that kind of shit I should like sometimes like I spent 30 bucks on DLC for uh, the force unleashed for my channel that could have been a haircut. I go, not this month, but a couple months, or rather, yeah, kind of this month, I've got basically borrowed money and paid back in cash. Two hot ready pizzas from Little Caesars and a uh, buffet from KFC that could have been a haircut, but I decided to treat myself because sometimes you're tired of just eating cheap food. I can live a long time off ramen, but sometimes I want something a little more substantial. God, there's nothing going on this week. There's another birthday, and that's it. So, uh... Kind of looking forward to a haircut. Might be getting a new MP3 player. I say might because I broke mine, in quote marks, two days ago. And I told mom, because she'd been bugging me, like, oh, what do you want for your birthday? Or for Christmas or whatever. I'm like, well, I don't know. Well, this time I called her up, I want a new MP3 player, because I bit mine and broke it. Which naturally brings up the question, why'd you bite your MP3 player? To which I naturally answered, because it wasn't working, and if I threw it at the ground, it would shatter. So I bit it. So that I could safely take out my anger on this thing, because my teeth aren't sharp enough to pierce plastic. Turns out, they were. Couldn't get it to work. Turns out, again, though, that sometimes my electronics will fix themselves. I don't know how or why, but sometimes if I leave an electronic alone long enough, it will fix itself. Like, I had a computer years ago, a fucking desktop tower. Would not start. And I would turn it on, and it wouldn't, wouldn't even get to the fucking beep, 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 BIOS, safe mode, whatever bullshit. Wouldn't start up at all. I'd hear the fan, and nothing was on, you know? The lights weren't on, and nobody was home. And one day, I just kind of turned it on, because every now and then I would check. Turn it on and left it, and like an hour and a half later I came back and there was my startup screen. There was my desktop. I'm like, oh my god! And then I proceeded to burn every single thing on that computer onto a, a CD so that I could save it. I forget what I did after that. Or no, actually I think in that case I ran the mother of all virus scanners. I think I basically spent like seven or eight hours de-virusing and de-spywaring this computer and just doing thing after thing after thing to finally get it working. It was, it was long and complicated, but I did it. 
But yeah, I, I decided to plug in my uh, MP3 player and came back a couple hours later and it was accepting a charge and it was working again. And I might still, I'll see if she wants to do it, but I'm going to say to my mom, hey, this one works, but I still kind of want that MP3 player because the one I specifically asked for will work with Audible, which has my audiobooks which does not work with my current mp3 player because my current mp3 player is a sony walkman and audible doesn't like sony also doesn't like android hates it i try because i even thought about I'm, I'm not a use your phone for audio thing but i'm like you know I, if i can put my audiobook on my phone that'd be worthwhile not allowed to it's not it's not applicable to me it's not an option so I might get that as a thing, otherwise, something else. You know, it's up to her. I mean, if not, there was a video game, Dragon Ball Fusion, that I wanted. That I might be able to get cheaper off of Gamefly. Because it was I would have to pay like 40 bucks. I might get it for as low as 25 now. Oh, by the way, XCOM, uh, the Bureau Declassified or something like that. I have it. I don't I don't possess it, but I own it now. Uh, there's a thing with Gamefly. And I, bet I mention this every now and then. But basically, every three months, I get a $5 coupon. And the day I get the new coupon, if I haven't spent the old one, it remains active for a day. So every six months... The coupons overlap, and I have $10 in coupons for used games. Actually, I think it's for any game, but I really just get used games with it. No, wait, it is for used games. It came up with Tales of Symphonia. But yeah, um... So I go online, and I'm like, ooh, here's some games I could get, potentially. And by the time that happens, all the good shit that I might have checked a day before is gone. So I'm left with a bunch of miscellaneous crap. I'm like, oh, this one's $8.99. Let's take a look. And it's like that XCOM game. I've heard nothing but bad things about it. The Bureau. I, I've heard it's bad. But hey, it's $8.99. And I'm not actually spending money. I'm spending two coupons that I'm literally not using for anything else. Because I don't usually have enough money to buy full-fledged video games. So... So yeah, nothing, nothing lost there. And as I'm in the checkout for this, I'm looking for the coupon button and I'm not seeing it. Something, and oh, I'll just click to the next thing. Order has been processed. I'm like, oh shit, maybe I can cancel. I try and talk to their chat. Turns out it's after business hours, so I've got chatbot who is worse than useless. I'm like, chatbot, how do I cancel an order? You can, if an order hasn't shipped. You can cancel it here. I'm like, how? If an order hasn't shipped, you can cancel it here. It tells me where, but not how. Fucking chat line. So I sent an email, angry but not unreasonable, basically saying, hey, I wanted to do this with the coupons. I don't have the money right now to afford this and still make it through the month, etc. Next morning, well, next afternoon, this is me, Let's let's be real here. Next afternoon, I checked my email. Hey, we're sorry about that. You you made your order after hours. Everyone was home, and chatbot's all we had. We know he's not that great, but it's what we have to work with, etc. We have canceled your order, and basically they reinstated my coupons. They added like six days to the one that was set to expire. You know, it, it basically was going to expire that day, and now it expired like the 11th. So they gave me the chance, like, here, here's where you go. So I reordered it, and it should be here probably tomorrow, let's be perfectly honest. Tomorrow or Saturday. Because right now it's Thursday. But yeah, that's a new game, and I might let's play it. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'll res rev it. For those who don't know, Resident Evil Revelations was a game that I had as a rental from, from Redbox. And I made the decision to do a blind run of it. And then I'm like, well, what if I don't like it? And then I reasoned, if I don't like it, 
I'll just erase all the footage and it'll never see the light of day. You know, so if I don't like the Bureau and absolutely hate it and think it's completely unusable, you just won't see it, you know? There are a couple Let's Plays I've given up on, like I'm probably... I haven't deleted it, but I'm probably never going to resume Alien Isolation. It might, though. Because... I haven't watched anything to ruin the fact that it would have been a blind run. But I'm really not feeling the game as much, because I'm kind of sucking at it. But we'll see. That There's uh, one game, for example, Two Worlds 2, was a game that I got dirt cheap at a GameStop one year. It was one of those buy two, get one free games, and it was one of the free ones. You know, it, there, there was nothing, no big loss here by me getting this game. You know what I mean? And I'm like, oh, I'll do a blind run. It's just like Morrowind. No, it's like Morrowind if it was made by people who didn't give a shit. And I was in a Skyrim mood. I still am. And I've been trying to get a hold of a copy just to play. And, uh... My copy is out on loan at the moment, so I can't just use it. But I popped in Two Worlds 2. I couldn't get fucking ten minutes into that damn game. It's so bad. It's not the same, you know? But yeah, it's it's a case of uh, I, I had started a let's play of that and I just abandoned it. It's not worth it. It'll never get done. You know, I'm never. I'm probably just gonna give the game away or sell it or fucking take it into GameStop for like five cents in credit or whatever. You know. I wish it were a good game, but it's not. It's just it's just categorically bad. It's objectionably bad. Or objectively bad, rather. It Well, it is objectionable. But it is objectively bad. It is a shitty game. And I don't think you'll find too many people willing to... No, this is a fantastic game. You're just a bad person. No, it's... It's really bad. This is from the guy who likes Carnage Heart, even though I'm too stupid to play it properly. You know? I wish I knew enough about computer programming to play Carnage Heart, because that game strikes me as being so fun. Basically, I think I'm going to get these two done tonight. Or not tonight. When I say tonight, I'm referring to this sleep cycle. I'll start the month of fall, and then I'll go to sleep. And in the morning... <coughs> afternoon. In the morning, I will uh, work on the other episodes. And by nightfall, I should honestly have this whole damn game done. We're at a point where I'm kind of burning through these. Honestly, if I weren't so tired... I'd probably just tank this thing right now. Is it even worth cutting down the rest? Yeah, it actually kind of is. Alright then. Let us do a thing. Could have used that, but thanks. Well, if there's ever any doubt, I now definitely have enough ch uh, cow feed to make it through the entire game, or the rest of the game, rather. 
I'll tell you one thing. I, I do appreciate that Stardew Valley, when you fully upgrade your barns and coops, they auto-feed all your, your animals. That's kind of a neat feature. Is this a thing Japanese people do? Spa boiling eggs? I don't doubt that you can, I doubt that you would. But there it is. I just, hot springs to me are a weird thing. I don't like being too hot in water. Especially since, but then again, Japanese people like to boil themselves. It's really weird. It's weird to the point where I'm honestly surprised with as much as Japanese people boil themselves. I'm honestly surprised they don't have a history of cannibalism. Like a big history of it. And I don't, I, I'm not trying to call them savages or anything, but I mean they literally boil themselves. Watch anime, you see it all the time. People bathing in a fucking oil drum with a fire built under it. You're, you're bathing in a fucking cauldron. All you need to do is put carrots and shit in there and you've got yourself a human stew. Made out of stew. It just strikes me as weird. But yeah, I would love to, in the near future, be able to just have an income to the point where I can get games. Just, wow, that's a cool game. I want it. I will possess it now, you know? Whether it be for a job or Patreon or maybe I hit the lottery. I don't fucking know. That would just be a cool thing to have access to. Kind of weird. I've never been what I would consider rich, but... I look back now on the times when I used to have more money and I'm like, wow, I could get a game every four months. That was amazing. One more. And honestly, I don't need more than that. Honestly, I don't even need that. Bed. Dog's fucking out cold. Let me just uh, take a look at something real quick here. Not there. I'm just looking at how much the previous week's episode was time wise. Wow, still 40 minutes. Which, granted, I've cut two hours out of the runtime. And yes, I did have some that were two hours and 40 minutes long. But damn, even all the shit I cut out, and it's still long as hell. It's kind of crazy, actually. Gonna need you. Actually, wait. You're going to go back to the pond. I'll get you in a minute. Bob came back! You'll never believe this. I was abducted by this thing with a big head. Yeah, I, I need to sleep after this, because uh, just then I zoned out a little bit. I'm like, why isn't the button working? Oh, yeah. Logic.
again. You know, I, I vaguely remember the sense of wonder I had at the start of this when I first got this game. Like, ooh, how does this dispenser work? How does this work? How does this work? Because keep in mind, when I first played this, I only knew of Harvest Moon through Reputation. I knew about it from the Super Nintendo. And I, I didn't realize there had been like four games since then. I thought this was like the second one ever made. But, uh... Yeah, just... All the things that I thought I knew that were no longer applicable. Hell, I just described this Let's Play like, Oh, I thought I knew this. Turns out dead wrong. I almost wish... Just, well, I, I wish, period, that I had a TV Tropes uh, page. But I almost wish that I had one, if only for the reason... To have a page. An entire page in, in the quote section just dedicated to all the shit I've said that was wrong. And only from games that I know, like this one. If you don't get there by then, it's wasted. No, it's not! You know. So wrong about this game. So fucking wrong about this game. Alright, give me that fish. All right, I'm pretty sure he's still more or less at home. Today is Zach's birthday, by the way. Getting sleepy. It is five o'clock in the morning. It's not surprising that I'm getting sleepy. I'm a little miffed that I'm staying up that late, especially since I will wake up at around 9 to 11 o'clock. Period. I'm conditioned that way. The other day I had to stay up till 7 to catch the roommate before he went to work to talk about something. I got up at 9 o'clock. And then again at 11. And something happened to keep me awake at that hour, but you get the idea. Or no, nothing happened. I ended up, uh... Waking up just in time to make it to Hero Clicks. And it was kind of ridiculous. But yeah, given that this and this week in Kyrix are on the same week, this is episode 43? That is incorrect. Not not the day, or not the number, but the fact that I whistled. <clears throat> anyway, I have like five more episodes just to get caught up to where I'm supposed to be right now. Happy birthday, big guy. You're a great character. You're a very important character. You make this, this game revolve. The game would be nothing without you. I would be a poor some bitch who couldn't afford new axes to clear the stumps off his land. And of course, aside from the start of fall itself, nothing going on for the rest of the week. Now, partly just because, and partly as an apology for all the schedule slips, there will be something special included at the end of Harvest Moon in general. I will sit down and basically burn through this game at a rapid clip, watching television, 
and doing mini recordings of each day of the television. Like, oh, let's do Mechabot Ultra, or let's do The Fairy and Me, let's do Life on the Farm, etc. And just string together all of these so that if you ever wanted to know what it was, you know, you could watch them. Because the best of my knowledge, these are not cataloged anywhere in English. And these will be presented without commentary. I'm going to actually edit them together. It'll be great. But, yeah. And uh, it, it shouldn't take me too long. It's basically going to be wake up, watch TV, go to bed. Wake up, watch TV, go to bed. You know? Because I won't be actually playing the game. I'm doing it solely for TV purposes. And I will try and catalog it in such a way that I'll know what's missing. So if I miss an episode, like, oh, there's a blizzard, so I missed the fairy and me. Oh, no. This tornado stopped Mecha Bottle Troar for the week. Uh-oh, the Shogi Hour has been discontinued because of the weather, that kind of shit. And then I'll mark down what, when each one happened so that I can go through a second time and get that missing episode. You know? Like, oh, I'm missing episode 13. I better watch 12 weeks and then come back again. You know? Now, I don't particularly think anyone's going to care about the Shogi Hour, but... What the fuck do I know? I don't even play Shogi. You know? For all I know, there's some diehard Shogi fans out there. And I know they exist. Whether they watch my stuff or not anyone's guess but you're watching like oh this isn't actually an interesting game i wonder who's gonna win so i'll do it just for the hell of it i mean obviously i'm gonna skip the weather channel i'm gonna skip the news channel but i'll do life on the farm i'll do mechabot ultra or i'll do like what's your passion i'll do the new year's shit because i think that changes Just out of curiosity, uh, what's your passion? What a hunk. Okay. Just like eight more episodes or so. Oh, hi. Do I get an event? Good morning. Oh, <laughs> that was cute. Why are you bringing my wife crickets? Oh, god damn. You did. Little shit brought you some bugs. Oh. That's actually a really cute picture of her. What? Ah! Where'd it go? It's gone. Ooh, apples. I forgot that was a thing. Hey, Ellie. I hear an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Nom this and tell that man to get his own woman. It's a stupid joke. I stand by it. My fish bone? They did not bone. 29 days of fertility that I will not use because I'm sick of planting shit and watering shit and most of all harvesting shit 
and I want to go to sleep. But worry not! The episodes will continue. Seriously, I got way too much shit to not continue. So yeah, don't don't worry. There, I'm not done. They're not done. I will get this back on schedule. I will put these up so that they all go up in time. Uh, I will round out the year with Harvest Moon the way I'm supposed to. Forgive the schedule slips. By the time you're seeing this episode, know that the schedule slips have come to an end. Because I will not upload this, or the one previous, until they're all ready. So, by the time you're able to get this message, you know it's all up. It's all ready to go. I, I'm still shocked that this thing pulls the ratings it does. I mean, I don't have huge ratings, but I've actually got good ratings for this. Goddamn sleepy cows. In case you're wondering why I ran to it and then dashed away, it's because the button press didn't take for some reason. And for the record, the reason I cut down the grass and all that is because I'm just trying to mix things up instead of just doing the bare minimum shit. Because you do deserve to see something other than just hearing me bitch. Or go on really weird tangents like I do. I gotta pee. I'll do it after I'm recording, obviously. At least it says it's locked, and not like it doesn't in Stardew Valley. Only open from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. I know she hasn't gone somewhere. She can't. She's old. Why is everybody closed? I got shit to buy. There we go. Okay, that that settles the fact that it's not some weird fruit loopy holiday. It is true. Mayor Thomas, I'm currently in possession of 568,290 dollars. I haven't sold anything in forever. You do the math. I think the last thing I sold were those pumpkins. And that was like halfway through summer. Matter of fact, it was almost exactly halfway through summer because I could have fit a second harvest in. I was just too lazy to. And too apathetic because I have too much money. I brought you some fruit. Eat the fruit. Well, considering you're technically my grandma-in-law, I suppose I should be nice to you. You know, at least until hurling day comes along. Got my glove all ready and everything. Got the perfect tar pit picked out. And if you're old enough to get that reference, thank you. All right, we're, we're going to call this so that I can pee and then go to sleep. Because if I do it the other way around, for one thing, I'll make Willow unhappy because she sleeps next to me. And I'll have to do laundry. And I don't want to do laundry. It's time consuming and I forget to get my shit out of the dryer. All right, everyone. Bye-bye. I'll see you next week.